Greetings, my name is Robin Kuharczyk, and I'm an assistant professor of chemistry in the Associate in Arts program at the University of Delaware. And I'm here to share with you what's your favorite pandemic snack, a general education science course, Transform. Thank you so much for your interest in my poster. And speaking of my poster, let's take a look. Snack science is a general education science course with a lab component, and it conveys the science of food and cooking. It was designed by a UD chemistry faculty member on main campus, and it utilized facilities, equipment, and instrumentation that I had no access to in my building on the Wilmington campus. I therefore transformed snack science into a course that could be taught in a standard classroom and a basic science lab. Students not only came to understand the science concepts, but they also grappled with the complex issues sensor courses are known for, such as genetically modified foods, climate change, and food security. When UD pivoted to remote learning in March, I chose to connect with my students through synchronous Zoom sessions. And despite the remote format, Snack science was successful beyond my dreams. Let's now take a look at the student experience. Students attended laboratory on Fridays and the, uh, the laboratories that they uh, performed were uh, some involve food, some involve uh, important concepts such as climate change. And two I'd like to mention here uh, are the Taste and Flavor Lab, where students learned about cola drinks by using table sugar and vinegar to create tasty and not so tasty mixtures. The other lab I'd like to highlight is one where students explored lactase persistence using a case study from the National Center for Case Study Teaching and Science. And this revealed to them why going around the corner to the UD Creamery might not be some students' idea of fun. But what was really fun for the students was the virtual beehive visit. My colleague, Dr. Dan McDevitt, maintained several beehives and in April, students explored the inside of his beehive in his backyard by way of Zoom. They were so surprised to learn that not all yellow stripey things are bees, that honey is produced inside the bee's body, that native bees don't live in hives, and that our food system would be severely affected without bees. Moving on to the final poster project. Here, students worked in groups on a poster that addressed a topic of their choice, and then they presented the posters to the class. Notice the student designed class logo in the lower right of this poster on vegetarianism. These posters are uh, available for you to view uh, at this link in the Spring 2020 AAP Virtual Creative Showcase. The last experience I'd like to share with you is the photo assignment. If you were at the 2018 Sensor Summer Institute, uh, you may remember that I presented a poster on a photo assignment and I adapted this assignment for use in snack science by having students take a selfie with their favorite snack and then writing what science they knew about that favorite snack. And that was generally not very much. So then they wrote again at the end of the course and they described their snack using information they'd learned. They then reflected on their learning and were astonished at their growth. And so what you see here, Emily with her pizza, she wants to make 
pizza from scratch now. Brendan, who was so surprised to find out that climate change might impact his venison snack. Uh, Alex, who uh, learned more about avocados through the scientific method. And Maggie, whose Trader Joe's caramel cheddar popcorn taught her a lot about carbohydrates and caramelization. So to, uh, to close here, uh, Snack Science was transformed into an AAP course, then it was transformed to a remote learning course, and then finally, I will be transforming it into an online offering for fall 2020. And hopefully it will have an exciting new community engagement component. Thank you very much for listening. I can be contacted at rkuchar at udell.edu. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you very much.